this one wild Yu-Gi-Oh players caught on camera by Team APS. Drop a like, drop a sub, post a comment, boop, ayo. Boop, you'll know what it means. I'm sure he will. Yu-Gi-Oh players, a common sight in card shops all over the world. And literally nowhere else. <laughs> they don't like sunlight. Some see them as an ape. I know. For he is I. <laughs> he is me. Pex predator. Others believe them to be an invasive species. Except I don't. I, I typically don't talk to anyone there. I don't, I don't like talking to strangers. Ew, get, get it off my plate. Ugh. Conversations? I can't do that. No. No, no thank you. Uh, uh, I don't have that kind of social skill. I know that there's some nerds out there that do. I, not, not me. Jeez. Today... We will dispel the mystery of different types of Yu-Gi-Oh players in their natural habitat. The Duelist Combus, or the Combo player, is the most high-strung Yu-Gi-Oh player. I've met one of those! Chaos! Chaos! Mr. I have a... Mr. I literally can defeat you the very first turn. I have Chaos. It's the first turn. Typical diet consists of excessive amounts of sugar and caffeine. The combo player. He's laid off the sugar and caffeine. <laughs> he laid off the sugar and caffeine. Now he's 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 giving it up. He's like an, he's, a, he's like a drug addict. He's, 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 he's no longer no more. Rapid heartbeat. And he just he just does water. Room temperature like a savage. And their opening hands are almost always ideal, insisting their opponent could win if they just drew the out. Yeah, and somehow tapping his cards like it's magic or something. They're inter- Freaking love magic. Ah! Specific competitive. I love magic. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I love Pokemon trading card. I love, uh, 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 what else do I play? Uh... Wise Shorts? I, I have, I have a hollow, uh, uh, two hollow life decks. Oh! <gasps> I won't. I won't spoil what Chaos has. You should make content on on or your White Schwartz deck, Chaos. You know that particular one that I'm so jealous of. That's like that you have it. Make a make a YouTube video on that, dude. I, I, I'd watch it. I'd subscribe. The I'd like. Dealers, Floodgates. The Floodgate player guy? finds joy in Yu-Gi-Oh by ensuring that the other species cannot. What you mean? They are known for setting traps for their unknown. Oh, that's my freaking brother. Oh, oh, my bro, monkey. Victims. My bro monkey, uh, I know they him. Utilize monster cards with prohibitive yep. effects. Uh -huh. Much like cats and dogs, if a floodgate player runs into a combo player at locals, sparks will fly as they hash out their irreconcilable differences. E Chaos forces me to become this person. He forces me to, because there's no other way to play. Insisting, there's literally no other play. It's it's that, or I just lose instantly. It's 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 literally like. Would you like to go first? And I'd be like, yes, I want to I wanna play this, this game. I want to play this time. If I let you go first, I won't even get a turn. Other is the problem with the game today. The Jackass of all traders loves playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah! But they also love every other card game, too. Why are you calling me out, They've though? been spotted in numerous other ecosystems, including Magic. Why are you calling me out, though? Oh, okay. So maybe I maybe I just recently ordered a One Piece TCG deck. Uh, I just got interested. I just wanted Nico Robin one, Pokemon, like you know, One Piece, or Digimon, and maybe a Perona one, you know. Others. Their poor sense of orient. I haven't played Digimon, but but I love Digimon. Okay, I watched I watched the cartoon show. I, it was my childhood. Rotation causes them to get their decks confused all the time and have been able I... to agree to duels with the wrong cards. They're great companions for card gaming, just don't expect to start your match on time. And he's going to take forever to relearn the rules every single turn. <laughs> Yo. D dude. Chaos. Burrito. And anyone in my chat I am down to start a room, and I, we just play Yu-Gi-Oh nonstop. I would get destroyed. I'm telling you right now, I am not a good. I am not in any way. I am a terrible player, but I am down to get ranked live on stream nonstop. On freaking uh, what is it called? Battle, battle, whatever the frick. 
Y'all don't even want to step to my dragon maid deck and my sushi boat deck. Y'all don't even know what y'all in for. The dragon maids rule. If they stomp everyone out. Man. Oh. First edition cop. Your Exodia deck? Uh, you probably one of those duels who took the Exodia deck from the tournaments. That the who, who didn't that Exodia freaking did just win finals? Like recently, charity, you are facing chaos. What, what was that? Tempest Magus. Yeah, FTK deck. Chaos, chaos is a nightmare. Is a marvel of something. I'll take it, but I'm just telling you, FTK deck. It's a, it's a, it's a hollow victory. Hollow victory. Science. Only appearing in recent years. Well earned and deserved. I'm not gonna take it away from you. Well earned, deserved. I I don't have the brain power to make an FTK deck. <laughs> I get bored and give up. They refuse to play the modern game and focus exclusively on their favorite past formats, often from 2005. I am down to play a deck just to attempt nonstop to try to get the Exodia. When presented with I am down to. Be very careful when agreeing to duel a Tempest Magus, as you can never be sure what format they will have in mind. <laughs> I don't know the formats at all. D to be fair, Yu-Gi-Oh! is the worst game for formats, because you gotta figure out, like, you gotta determine, like, 20 different rules before you start. Like, it's too much. The venture capitalist doesn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! They buy it and sell it. I, 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 I've met someone like this. I, I, I don't really play with anyone like this. The Venturist Capitalist or know anyone like that. values money, and for some reason they chose Yu-Gi-Oh! I, yeah, I don't know why. Game. I've seen, I've met a lot Despite more on Magic. Game, a lot more. These... Like, genuinely, I've had, like, boys that have paid rent. Wait, well, to be fair, paid their half of the rent. <laughs> I've had boys that have literally, like, lived their entire lives unemployed, but have paid their entire half of their rent just by purchasing Magic the Gathering decks and, and trading. It, it's, it's a wild life. It's a wild and risky life. Players are a keystone species. Their marketplace of cards But if you know your stuff, the resources they need to play like the that, game. you could make it happen. But Especially with Magic, you can make it happen. Dude. Oh, what did Magic just do? Have y'all seen the... Uh, can, if I had, like, Mr. Beast levels of money, or even Penguin Zero levels of money, have you seen Penguin Zero's Yu-Gi-Oh! deck? Dude's an absolute Giga Chad with his freaking Yu-Gi-Oh! deck. I would buy the entire Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering set. I would... Oh, oh, you have no idea, my dude. Oh, 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 oh. I'm still trying to build my Eldritch Nightmare deck uh, for Magic the Gathering. Uh, uh, I'm trying to do, uh, like an Eldritch Horror, like, style theme one, you know? Sadly, the venture capitalist is going extinct because of overhunting. That, uh, 100% that, I feel like a lot of that came from scalping being introduced from the gaming consoles as well. A lot of people that I know personally that were scalpers, uh, that I hated, uh, they, they freaking, uh, they, they ended up, uh, moving on to other stuff like that. If they didn't move on to shoes and other things like that, like that, they moved on to, uh, cards and stuff like that. Uh, but I don't really know a lot of those people, like, personally, personally. Just, like, people I ended up, uh, uh, meeting at conventions or other places like that. It's with them. They are... Alright, admittedly, one's a cousin. ...are the only ones... I, 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 I am Mexican. I can't, you can't, they, I had to have one cousin. I didn't. Like, it's gonna be there somewhere. ...who make a profit. Card shops are starting to no longer sell you your cards. Yeah, they do lose a lot of money now. It's, it's, it's definitely an oversaturation of the market, and I feel like... There's... Like, what's the best, like, I'm not, I'm not well versed enough to put this into words, but basically I feel like there's going to be a certain point where I will go to the market and, and I will see them selling a pack of 60 or 100 cards, all commons, random commons, just, just for like five bucks. And it's like, cool, you want to fill up, we fill out a deck. I, I went to, I go to the card shop and when the kids want to play Yu-Gi-Oh's or they want to start learning it, you know, they can't understand it, but I, I will get them multiple of those packs. The reason, but, but. The reason why all those commons are so pointless and useless and there's nothing to do with them is because, well, nobody wants them. Everyone wants the meta deck, the meta card. And if you don't have the meta card, then get out. There's no reason to, they're, they're, what are you doing? They're, they're still even, there's not even a point to you playing. You, you either get the meta deck or you get nothing. You know, so it's like, everything else just just dissolves in but value. There, Very quickly. Only your players opening a box. Yeah, he just, like, it, as soon, like, as soon as the next box set comes out, 
over. They, they, this is this is all. Everything here has become useless to me. Valueless. This is a great opportunity. Overprinted and over over hyped. Sure to appear whenever a box. But that for the same purpose, I I I, I just don't play competitively like competitively anymore. I play wacky zany fun decks and i try to win with them i i, I don't like playing competitively anymore because it, it just ruins it a starter deck is open they move in large packs with i mean i still i'm sorry this dude's hat is amazing i have a hat that's like similar hyena, but mine has the heroes sure to appear whenever I oh this dude has the villain on his i have the one that has the heroes i didn't know there was a villain's freaking my hero hat that thing's freaking sick dude I have to get on something and order it now. Oh, it's so awesome! Sorry, I freaking want one. Even a starter deck is open. They oh, me and Degenerate, we freaking love hats. We have a deep, deep love of hats. Themselves. Despite spending no money, these hyenas distract the opener by constantly asking what was bro and convince the bro. opener to help open packs. Hey, bro! Um, <laughs> if he accounted the polls, behind <laughs> Exercise caution. If, it's, if, this, if this is going to be the guy that's always telling you to punish your packs, when approaching that dude needs to chill. A <laughs> he needs to relax. The power creep has caused value to go down over time. These Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, yeah. may seem pleasant outside of the game. I feel like magic, and, and I'm not saying it's better or worse. I love all of them. Uh, but I feel like magic is, is definitely a lot better at, uh, uh, about uh, giving you certain archetypes. And no matter what, if you get if if you feel like it's starting to get to the point where it's like ah it's too unbalanced right now and it's too like meta, you can just play commander. Uh, Chaos told, gave me like made that point the other day. He's like, yeah, you can just play commander because it's like you can only have one copy of each card, so it's a little bit difficult to really, really, really meta that too much. You know, it becomes but way it too complicated. And what are the odds you're gonna get the card you want or need? These rage quitters attitudes will quickly sour if they start losing a game. Recognizing no, I'm, I'm, I, I haven't really played Commander, but Chaos convinced me to order uh, a pre-build uh, deck, and I'm gonna try it. Outbursts with little regard for those around. I used to be this guy for sure. I used to be this guy 100%. If you spot a Yu-Gi-Oh player with Masadol on their phone, you've come across the recently discovered Duelist Mastus. Recently discovered. From oh, Maxi, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That card. Worth something. Maxi has value. Literally anything else? No. And you know what makes it worse is that even even in the freaking game, in the in the virtual game, you I can't just buy the card. You can't just get. I want that card. I want that card. Like in real life, I want to go to the shop and I want to buy that card, the, the Maxi. I want to buy Maxi because it's expensive. I don't. I can't afford that. It's like fifteen bucks. Are you kidding me? At least back when I was looking at it. I don't want to do that. Two formats in the past, and they believe a But but in the shop, it's like, nah, man, you gotta you gotta roulette play it. It's like, why? Why do I have to roulette play it? Let me give you a dollar for that card. It's a freaking virtual game. Why do you care? There's it's a it's a zero. You you are you you are wasting zero resources, and you are giving me a fake virtual card. Just let me give you a dollar. Some might even say a dollar is too much. For a fake virtual card. Could you please let me give you a dollar and fifty cents even? Duel was over after just I'm one outraged. round. They are most whatever. known for putting. They can do whatever they want. It's a free country, but I'm just saying. Any deck that they build, and often. I, I I would I would I am much. Even though I do want to really play Master Duel and all that stuff, I will first handedly always go and spend money on a real physical card. Than I would on a virtual one. Confrontations with other Yu-Gi-Oh players claiming. Not saying I wouldn't spend money on a virtual one, but I am saying. It isn't, it I I I a hundred to, like ten words, times realistically. Necessary evil. Higher chance of me buying the, going to buy the Maxi in real life than in, than, 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 than in the virtual the one. Duelist, Even if the virtual one is cheaper, I'd rather go and spend the fifteen and the five. And if I can't afford the fifteen, I'm not buying the five. Naratas. they typically show up with playmats that are at best. Okay, th this one might be me a little bit. Best not safe for work. Hey, Dark Magician Girl ought be, be, be fine looking though. And at worst, potentially illegal. Oh, it's definitely illegal. However, they are not limited to just lewd playmats. 
their sleeves and even their deck. Oh, I definitely have the matching, the I've matching. The the chaos can vouch for me. I definitely have the matching uh, 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 so Doug Magician Girl sleeves. Unaware of the effect their accessories have on their fellow players. Oh no, I we're not blissfully unaware. We we know. We're aware. Just don't matter to us. To combat this, it's best to keep them at a distance. I mean, you can, but don't my boy, when they're looking at it like you're trying to lick it, you know what I mean? Change <laughs> Is uh, at two in the OCG for a while was no real impact. Two dollar? Is it two dollars actually? Ugh, that's too much money, dude. I'm broke. Pokemon is better because people collect purely for the artwork. Good point. That's why I love the freaking ginormous Pokemon cards. Have you seen the uh ah? Uh, oh, I love watching those people that pull for the uh. Oh, it's limited to two. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, look at this freaking dog, dude. This dog has been through it. Uh, uh what was I gonna say? The I I recently just saw uh some people are pulling now for skateboards, skateboards with artwork. Oh, this one dude pulled and got a freaking uh gold Charizard a skateboard pull. It was freaking sick looking, dude. It looked phenomenal. I actually want to start collecting some of those. Like, uh, cause, but the thing is, I don't really, I I never really rode a skateboard. I used to ride cruisers, but not really a skateboard. And longboard. I used to I used to do longboards and cruisers, not really skateboards. So yeah, I I would feel like a poser collecting them. But you know, eh, it is what it is. Hey, be sure to join the crew. Please like, follow, and subscribe. And hey, if you like that video, you should check out this stuff.